Hey dudes, today we're gonna to talk about routing for post-production sound. Now, if you haven't seen my what is routing video, you should probably check that out first, but if you're feeling confident and ready to go, let's dive right into it. Okay, so I have a session open that has dialogue, FX, BGs, and music in it. If you remember from one of our very first videos together, there was a video I made called What is Post-Production Sound? And in that video, we discussed the three major stems. So dialogue, FX, and music. And we talked about dialogue, of course, going to the dialogue stem, effects and BGs going to that FX stem, and music going to the music stem. So currently this session doesn't have any stems or anything like that going on, but we're gonna fix that with routing right now. Okay, so in order to get things going, we are going to need to make 11 new aux, not audio, but aux tracks. In order to do this, we are going to go to setup, IO for our in and out menu. By default, it might go to output, but we need to create buses. So I click on the bus tab and I do new path and we decided we're gonna make 11 new buses and we are in stereo land. We are mixing our final project in stereo so we need to make sure we do 11 stereo buses. Simple, 11 stereo bus create. Bada boom, there they are. So say it with me. DX proc for processing. I can hit tab to go to the next one. FX proc, MX proc. Then we'll move on to DX stem, FX stem, and MX stem. So far, so good. We have a meter track. We have a final out track. We have DX verb one. FX verb one and MX verb one because at some point we might wanna have more than one verb for each of these. What's really important to note is that we cannot cross pollinate verbs. The whole reason that we have stems is that we want all the dialogue to go to dialogue. Therefore, we need a dialogue verb to also go to the dialogue stem. If we just had one generic verb, for example, we couldn't go into that verb and then split out again across all of the stems. So it's vital that we understand that anytime we need a verb on dialogue, that's a dialogue verb. Anytime we need a verb on music, that's a music verb, etc. You can create as many of these as you want, but for now, this is the most simplest way for us to get to our goal. After that, I just hit okay. All we've done so far is basically grabbed a bunch of cables and now we're ready to plug them in to the ins and outs of all of our tracks. Another way to think of routing is like physical routing. If you're physically plugging in a cable to an in and an out, just imagine Pro Tools has imaginary cables behind the scenes that we can't see. So we have created a bunch of these cables in our hand that are called buses and now we must make the tracks and then tell those tracks how we want them to be bussed. So let's move into that. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the last track so that it'll make new tracks beneath that. Shift Command N. Remember 11 stereo and earlier I said aux tracks, so aux inputs, not audio tracks. Create. There they are, they're all lined up. And let's go ahead and double click the first one and start labeling everything the same way we did in our IO menu. So DX proc, I can hit command and right on the arrow to move to the next track. FX proc, MX proc. Say it with me now, DX stem, FX stem, 
MX stem meter. Final out, dx verb one, fx verb one, mx verb one. Great, so now all of these are labeled. Let's go ahead and color coordinate a little bit. So I do like my proc tracks to stay this uh, green color. These stems will be our final resting place of where these stems will be. So that's a different thing than processing. This is our last place we can process dialogue, effects, and music. No more processing on the stems, so I'm going to make them a nice pink color. My meter, I personally like this pretty little plum kind of color. My final outs, I like to be red because that screams at me that's an output. That's the only place within this whole session where it's actually going to go to the speakers. Everything else will be internally routed. And my verb tracks, we can do, I think I do like an orangey color like that. Great. What's really important to note is that we must solo safe or disable the ability for these aux tracks to be soloed. By definition, solo means that when you solo one track, it mutes all the rest of the tracks. But because these are aux tracks and we constantly want sound passing through them, we do not want to say solo a dialogue track and then mute our aux tracks and no longer have sound being able to pass through those aux tracks. So by simply, Going up to whatever track you want to solo safe, you can hold command and then left click on your mouse on the solo or this little S button right here and it grays it out. So command click, command click. Those are all solo safed. If you want to do all of the rest of them all at once, you would shift click to the end, shift option, command, click that S, and that would be all that was selected with command, clicking S, bada boom, everything is solo saved. Okay, great. So now all we need to do is change the input and output of each track. So let's get started. So if I scroll all the way up to the top of my session, here's my dialogue tracks. Currently they are outputting to the stereo output. When we are routing internally, we don't want to use an output anymore. We want to use a bus. So we just want to simply take our dialogue tracks and make the output bus to our dialogue proc. So I can individually click on each one and keep changing it to dialogue proc. You'll notice that when a bus is in use, it'll turn yellow like that. It's a handy feature to let you know that it's being used. There we go. No inputs because there's no microphones or anything going into these tracks. This is where it starts. These are where our clips are, so we just need to change the outputs. Let's do all of our FX through our BGs at once by doing a shift click on the tracks, and then I can go shift option, click any of these Instead of output, remember, we're going to FX proc. So that changes all of them at once. We'll just double check because FX and BGs are FX and that's what stem they're going to ultimately go to. And last but not least, we're going to bus the music to the music proc. Okay, this next step often trips people up a little bit. So we're going to try to oversimplify it and not let you get tempted to be tricked by any means. And if we were careful, which we were with our labeling, we just need to change the input to bus DX proc. Another way to think of this is you are telling the FX proc that you want the input to be FX proc. So say it with me now, MX proc input is MX proc. So don't overthink this step. The input 
and the track name should be the same. If you're working on the DX proc, the input should be DX proc. Don't let it be any more complicated than that. Let's move on to the outputs now of these processing tracks. Okay, so DX proc goes where? Well, we went from dialog to dialog processing. Now we just need to land on the dialog stem. So I go to the output of the track and there it is. And you'll notice that I also was very careful of the order where I always went DX, FX, MX, DX, FX, MX, so that I can kind of just do this nice and neatly in order. So all I have left is to change my MX proc to output to my MX stem. Okay, don't get tricked. We are at DX stem now. All we need to do is tell the input that we want it to be DX stem. That's it. FX stem, FX stem, MX stem, MX stem. Done. Okay. So again, this is a final resting place for these tracks. No more processing, nothing else that happens. So we're gonna funnel these down into a meter track so you can measure the overall loudness of your program, for example. And we just need to tell the meter to be an input of meter. And we need to tell the stems, one, two, three, shift, option, click on the output, bus to meter, great. All right, so we're almost done here. I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit. Our meter is already accomplished as the input of meter. The last place that we need to go to is final out. Again, don't get tricked. Final out, input is final out. And again, like I said, the only time that we're going to the speakers is our final out. So let's move on to the verbs real quickly, and then we'll wrap things up. So DX verb one, keep it nice and easy. DX verb one, FX verb one, FX verb one. Again, top part is the input. Right now it has no input for MX verb, so all I gotta do is change that, bada boom. Now, the only thing different about these verbs is that these verbs are a form of processing. So we can skip the processing that's gonna happen here and we can just go DX verb and put it straight to the DX stem. Great, so output of FX verb is going to be FX stem and MX verb is going to be MX stem. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have completed all of our in and out routing in our session, so let's check our work. So let's listen to a piece of dialogue. I'll hit solo and I'm gonna scroll back down. It should go to my proc, my stem, meter, and final out. No, wait a minute, I got this. No, wait a minute, I got this. No, wait a minute, I got this. Perfecto. Let's take a sound effect. So this is a reverse explosion. I will solo this, and this should go to my FX proc, stem, meter, and final out. Great. Last thing that we need to check is the music stem. So we have verified our ins and outs on both our audio and aux tracks are working properly. So I think it's safe to say that we have routed this session successfully. And with that being said, I think we're done with this video today. We're not quite done with the session because we still need to add plugins like compression, EQ, reverb, and even a meter on our metering track. However, we promised each other that we were gonna come here today to learn about routing, and that's exactly what we did. I look forward to continuing this session and adding a little more to it, but until then, later dudes.